10 U.S. companies that successfully broke into the global market. As of 2011, the top 10 companies that are multinationals have many similarities in business practice and how they broke into the international market so successfully. They also have some notable differences. In every case, their globalization has been profoundly successful and their penetration into the markets of so many countries quite notable. Walmart stores. Founded in 1962, Walmart now has over 8,500 stores in 15 plus countries and all 50 United States. It is also one of the world's largest private employers. It had, a, it had a unsuccessful adventure in South Korea and Germany, Germany, subsequently pulling out of those countries, but calls Canada, Mexico, Brazil, Chile, Norway, Russia, the UK, Africa, among others, home. In 2010, its annual gross was over $421 billion. It opened its first distribution center in 1969 and started trading on the New York Stock Exchange in 1970 saw meteoric growth in the U.S. to 1,200 stores by 1987, introduced the first supercenter in 1988, and entered the international market via South America in 1995. Beyond discount retail, Walmart also has interest in Silicon Valley and, the Cana and Canadian banking. Its growth rate and success can be attributed to its early established purchasing power, assimilation of struggling companies, low prices based on economy of scale, vast team of part-time employees without expensive benefit packages, and perhaps above all, its ability to identify exactly what its target markets want and how to provide it. In China, for example, it sells meat market fish from live tanks. ExxonMobil Grossing $383 billion in 2010, this Texas company is the largest on the planet and has a petroleum reserve of 72 billion barrels, or 14 years worth of unextracted oil. It has refineries in 21 countries. The company was formed in 1999 when Exxon and Mobil, two spin-offs from the turn of the century Standard Oil Company, merged. Standard operated various divisions in over 50 countries by 1962. Mobil and Exxon were established in 1950 and 1965 as petroleum-based chemical manufacturers and both became, began assimilating various standard companies. At the merge, the company was involved in everything from drilling and refining to managing gas stations. Its success has partially been attributed to the way it quickly divested itself of less profitable divisions like those gas stations and sewing, the sewing machine oil business. Leveraged by petroleum-based assets, the company is now becoming one of the world's leaders in development of alternative energy. Note, with similar history, Chevron and ConocoPhillips are also in the top 10. General Electric. This behemoth is a conglomerate generated from RCA, GE Wind Energy, GE Computing, Capital Finance, and much more. Started in 1890 by Thomas Edison, it launched as a lighting manufacturer, diversified into building train locomotives, founded RCA, which later acquired NBC, and builds Rolls-Royce jet engines. Grossing $105 billion in 2010, GE is an example of the power of acquisition, having gobbled up companies along the way that created CHS, an e-commerce solutions company, Enron Wind, Universal Pictures, now NBC Universal, Genworth Financial, Genpac, Smith's Aerospace, Dresser, and a credit card portfolio from Citibank. It owns the largest oil services company in the world, GE Oil & Gas. GE has also been successful in divesting itself of companies in a timely manner when they underperformed or the offer was too good to pass up. GE operates in almost every country in the world. Bank of America. Grossing $134 billion in 2010, Bank of America is the largest financial holding company in the country and has offices in 150 other nations. The company started as Bank of Italy in San Francisco in 1904 and merged with Los Angeles Bank of America in 1930. Its founders, Aggression, developed Transamerica Corporation, its in insurance industry arm, and acquisition of First Interstate and Wells Fargo. By the mid-1950s, its credit card Bank America became Visa. Until the 80s, the company was a California company, only venturing outside the state with its acquisition of Seafirst in Seattle in 1983. That was followed by a rough patch when the company made a number of bad loans to South America. But by the 90s, the company recovered in part because it purchased Security Pacific National Bank it, in, and others around through California and the Southwest and merged with Continental Illinois and was purchased by Nations Bank in 1997. Bank of America subsequently went on to acquire Countrywide Financial, Merrill Lynch, and receive a $20 billion government bailout in 2009. 
AT&T. Worth $124 billion in 2010, AT&T is inherently a telephone company, but transitioned into the new media industry in 2007 with services like VideoShare and UVerse. At the same time, it acquired Dobson Communications, Aloha Partners, Edge Wireless, Cellular One, Centennial Wayport, Qualcomm, T-Mobile USA, and Bell Operating Companies. It has been publicly traded since 1984 as Bell Telephone Company. AT&T's focus on a single industry, ability to evolve technology quickly to meet demand, and ongoing acquisition of its competitors are credited for its growth and staying power. Ford Motor Company. Despite the economic challenges of the 2008 on downturn, Ford grossed $129 billion in 2010. It owns Ford, Lincoln, and shares of Mazda and Aston Martin. By 2010, it had sold its stake in Jaguar, Land Rover, and Volvo, and discontinued Mercury. Its ability to respond quickly and smartly to market changes, reducing its debt and interest burden mid-financial crisis, for example, and high-quality standard have given it tremendous staying power. It is also known for its innovation of such unibody car platforms, crossover SUVs, and hybrid vehicles. In 2007, it improved its financial situation by transferring retiree benefits to a separate company, Viba. Its ongoing plan calls for consolidation and streamlining without compromising quality and quantity. J.P. Morgan Chase and Company. This multinational securities and banking giant is worth almost $103 billion as of 2010 and has six operating segments, investment banking, retail financial services, card services, commercial banking, treasury and security services, and asset management. In a decade, it acquired Chase Manhattan Bank, Bank One, J.P. Morgan, Bear Stearns, and Washington Mutual. Previously, it Previously, it increased its vast purchasing power by assimilating Chemical Bank, Manufacturers Hanover, First Chicago Bank, National Bank of Detroit, Texas Commerce Bank, Providian Financial, and Great Western Bank. It serves over 100 countries. Hewlett Packard, a technology multinational, HP is a $126 billion company known for a long competition with IBM, which it essentially won by creating spin offs like. Agilent Technologies and acquiring Compact EDS 3Com and 3PAR. Starting in a garage for $538 by two Stanford graduates, the company began its meteoric rise by wooing clients like Walt Disney and partnering with Sony. However, it is the company's relentless development of technology solutions from computers to scanners, copiers to handheld devices, combined with its consumer focused marketing, that is responsible for its growth and sustainability. Berkshire Hathaway, chaired by Warren Buffett, this $136 billion holding company owns railroads, confectionaries, retail chains, home furnishing manufacturers and resellers, encyclopedia printers, manufacturers of vacuum cleaners, jewelry sales firms, newspaper publishers, manufacturers and distributors of uniforms, and several regional electric gas utilities and insurance companies. It began as a textile company in 1839 and caught Buffett's eye in 1962. Under his control, it branched into insurance, the insurance business that formed Geico, which has subsidiaries in 70-plus countries. The company's success is attributed to Buffett's ability to see a money-making opportunity and capitalize on it. Because of the company's diversity, it is unlikely there is a country on earth that doesn't have some level of business dealings with Berkshire Hathaway. Citigroup. The Citi brand is worth $86 billion in one of the big four banks along with Bank of America, J.P. Morgan Chase, and Wells Fargo. By 1913, it had holdings overseas, Brazil, and by 1984, it had established businesses in over 90 countries and throughout the United States. It has merged with or acquired Travelers Group, Solomon Brothers, and offers all the services of its closest competitors, JP Morgan, its closest competitor, JP Morgan Chase. Its brands include City Financial, City Mortgage, City Capital Advisors, City Cards, City Investment Research, City Microfinance, and many more. This concludes Business Training's video module, Top 10 U.S. Companies That Successfully Broke Into the Global Market. Thank you.